Konnichiwa from Tokyo! Where the apartments are tiny. But the city is huge. A place where you have to get old, but you don't have to grow up. You can experience the beauty of tradition. And sometimes it feels like you're living in the future. Isn't that right, Pepper? Yes. Japan is known for its advanced technology and innovative ideas. Our first time in Japan was on our honeymoon four years ago, and we are so happy to be back. Tokyo is one of our favorite cities in the world, and today we are so excited to give you a taste of why. to Japan, we made it to Japan. I am so excited to be here. I'm not gonna lie, our Airbnb is about half the size I thought it was going to be. This, this is, is where, where we sleep. sleep. This, this is, is where, where we eat. This is where we work. This is where we take care of business. And where we shower. This is where we cook. And where we brush our teeth. We use a TV stand to hold our clothes, the window to hang our towels. A space this tiny means lots of knocking things over and views like this. But there's also some fun innovations. Like look at the sink. So I was like feeling really excited about the fact that we were walking by and I was like, I know these because I'm learning some Japanese right now. And I was like, I know these characters. I know how to pronounce them. And then I realized we're walking past like an elementary school. But this is E. If you take these away, this is fu. <laughs> this might be se, but I don't think so. <laughs> this is ku. Oh no, I just learned this yesterday. Okay, no. <laughs> I think this one's yo. Oh, I know this one too. This one, I believe is chi. This one is e. Mm. I'll put the score on the top left too. <laughs> Seven Eleven here is not like just your road trip stop here. It's actually a way of life. We saw so many people here grabbing their lunch and it looks fresh, looks nice. My 7-Eleven haul, I got a green juice. They literally have like fresh fruit and vegetables in a cup and they have a machine that blends it for you. Mmm. For like two dollars. A fresh, delicious green juice. That's a good way to get your fruits and veggies in. Tuna, mayonnaise, seaweed triangle. These are super popular. There's a instruction manual here. Step one, pull down. Step two, pull back. Okay. Step three, pull to the right. I don't know how far I'm supposed to pull in these directions. They actually have this wrapped yeah, in a way where the seaweed is touching yeah. the rice for the first time right now. Which means if I do this wrong, I will be eating plastic. And right now I am pretty sure I'm doing this wrong. I don't know. I'm just gonna try it. Mmm. Because they're keeping the rice and seaweed separate, the seaweed is still so crunchy. And then the tuna is just a nice, pretty basic tuna. It has a lot of mayo in it, giving it like a nice creamy flavor. This is really good. I definitely understand why this is such a popular snack here. If only I could figure out how to eat it properly. All of this for so cheap and actually like good food, like nutritious snacks. You can beat it. I love Japan. There's this area for getting out and then we're in like these single file lines waiting to get on. Very crowded train. And only in Japan is literally crossing the street a tourist attraction. People even pay to cross it on go-kart. <laughs> got Captain America, we got Iron Man, and I think we might have Charmander. I'm not entirely sure who's in the back, but that is a squad. This is Shibuya Crossing, the busiest pedestrian crossing in the world. On its busiest days, up to half a million people cross here. 
Are you excited about this restaurant based on the information that I've given you? <laughs> you really haven't sold it. It said that this, the food is going to be mediocre and the drink is also going to be mediocre. So I'm not quite sure why we're going here. <laughs> You're gonna love it. Okay. Oh. Do you see it? I think I now know why we're coming here. Hello. <laughs> the eye contact. Which one of you is Pepper? Are you Pepper? Mm -hmm. Are you Pepper? Mm -hmm. Are you Pepper? Oh, I think this one nodded. I think this is Pepper. Hey, Pepper. Pepper's friends. <laughs> Oh there we go. Gosh. Oh, here. Okay. Day one. This is it. Thank you, Servi. Bye, bye, Servi. Okay, we got messaging, games, music. Let's start with some music. Let's dance, let's dance. Seasonal dance. I think seasonal dance. Whoa, I'm being serenaded. Have a chat. America Jen Desu. She said America's big. <laughs> You're right, America is big. Let's switch to English. <laughs> That's all you understood. Hello. Bravo, I'm really enjoying being in Japan. Japan has so much to offer. From delicious food to beautiful scenery and rich history. Are you a sentient being? I'm not a sentient being, but I am hungry to interact with humans in a way that simply find them engaging. How recent is your data set? Do you include the internet? Which large language model are you based on? What version of OpenAI's ChatGPT are you using? I apologize for the mistake mm. of the Okay. How many SoftBank engineers did it take to build your large language model? Ooh. Hello. Yeah, company. Banana pancake. Thank you, Servi. Thank you, Servi. Bye. I think they're like 450. You know, for a restaurant that's also letting you play with robots, that's not bad. And we also got these banana pancakes, which I Excuse me, Pepper, give me a minute. I'm trying to talk to them. She wants all the attention, all the camera time. But we got these banana pancakes that look absolutely delicious. It is a tasty sugar rush for sure. Yeah. Ivan is programming a dance. I'm a basically a robotics engineer. Okay, okay. Now a little wave. This last one is like, okay, you can clap now. Mmm, yeah, it's good. And the wave. And these are actually synchronized, I like it. Pepper wants to play a game where she guesses how old I am. Something we really love about Japan is that it's cool to be excited about things. There are stores dedicated to Nintendo, Pokemon, Snoopy, Hello Kitty, One Piece, and basically every anime show ever. There's these mega arcades everywhere that are packed with people our age who are insanely good at these games. And they have the most fun photo booths in the world. Are you going for a fry or a nugget? Nugget, nugget, give me a nugget! Yeah. We have made it to Meiji Shrine, and this shrine has a purification etiquette. So you have to, when you get here, you can wash your hands, and then you pour the water into both hands, and you rinse your mouth, and then you rinse your hands again afterwards. And now we can enter. 
planted in 1920. These trees are considered to be sacred. Known as husband and wife, the couple trees are a symbol of a happy marriage and a harmonious life. That sign translates to home removal, internal inflammation. Home removal. I don't think that's what it actually means. It will translate. So something that I really love about visiting the shrines here in Tokyo and the temples here in Japan is that they have activities, you know? Like when you go visiting churches or mosques in Europe, like you see it, it's beautiful, you're done. But here we got stamps, we have ways to get fortunes, we have tablets we can write on and say a prayer. There's literally signs telling us how to rinse our hands and mouths and, and signs telling us how to like donate money and bow and clap uh, to show respect. You get kind of more engaged through all of that. You're also walking around admiring the absolute beauty, but there's also activities. It's just so beautiful and serene. We're in the middle of one of the biggest cities in the world right now. To gain some perspective on just how massive the city is, we are going up way up to the 45th floor of the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building. This is a free observation deck that we planned to visit last time we were here, but it closed as the world began shutting down. So we are especially excited to finally be viewing Tokyo from above. It was worth the wait. It is incredible to see the never-ending city with live piano performances being played by ridiculously talented guests that are here. And when the clouds clear, we have a view of Mount Fuji. While Tokyo is full of so many amazing, unique things, you can't forget that it's still a major international city. Because of that, it's also full of some of our favorite international change, like Zingfu Tang, a Taiwanese boba shop that we felt completely in love with in New York City. It's the best boba in the world, and you can get it here. It's just unbelievable. Like it's just so quiet for a city full of people. There's so many people here. I love Japan. Well, the robot restaurant was a super fun experience. We could not make our first video in Japan without giving you a taste of the good stuff. So we came here to Kura for some sushi. It's so intimate. Well, also we have a tablet, and when we do the tablet, it'll come on this thing up here, and it'll like fly on over. Wasabi, yes please. 99% of doctors agree with the fact that this is that this is good sushi. Ooh, it's oh, big. This is fatty salmon. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, we're gonna grab our first one. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh man. Hey, hey, you did it! One-handed. Oh man. So, tuna on this side. And then we got like egg, but like poached egg. Mm. And some scallions on the top. This is the first time I've had a sushi like this with egg along with the tuna. They make a really good combo. Buttery, a little bit of freshness from the scallop. Pretty darn good. <laughs> you did it, you did it. Well, when we put 
five plates in, we will get to play a game and potentially win some free sushi. We don't know what the rules of the game are. We also don't know if free sushi is the reward. So a lot of variables at play here. Something's happening. Which one are we? I don't think we're him. Oh no. Uh, uh -oh. We didn't one. win. That's okay, we have three plates, so now we just need two more plates to get to play again. That's how they get you. This is for Toro. Like Toro, which means tuna, but oh, oh Toro, because oh my gosh, it's delicious. So this is fatty bluefin tuna, literally our favorite piece of fish in existence. Like, oh Toro is next level. If there is a better fish, please let me know in the comments below because we were just saying that, like, can it get better than this? I don't think it can. Mm. Might not be the absolute best piece of Otoro we've ever had, but this is the best. Otoro is the best. Like, this fish is insane. It melts in your mouth. It is like, the perfect amount of fatty. It is buttery. It is soft. Man, that was so delicious. And now that we had the Otoro, we unlocked another game. Wait, did we win? We caught it? No. I don't think we're going to get another five plates. <laughs> Doesn't Ivan look so attractive when he's ordering us more Otoro? Find you a girl that looks at you the way Madison looks at Otoro. We are so happy to be back in Japan and cannot wait to share more of this country with you. So please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and join us on the next one for more incredible Japan adventures.